This is experiment four, decomposition of sodium bicarbonate. Uh, materials needed. The materials that you need are baking soda, and you can see right on it, it says whoop, sodium bicarbonate. Uh, we also need a dish that weighs less than 175 grams. Uh, I've just got one that we had at our house. Scale that holds more than 200 grams uh, and has a precision of 0 0.01 grams. It's particularly important for this lab. Uh, in my scale, actually, it's a WG220, so it does go all the way up to 220 grams. I guess I could use um, a dish that was a little heavier. Key point being that you're going to need 20 grams of baking soda and that your dish and your baking soda can't go over the limit for your scale. Another thing I'll say about the dish is the dish could be a bowl, it could be anything, uh, ceramic or glass, that has a mass of under about 175 grams. Now, uh, I'm not showing my oven. I did do this experiment in my kitchen, and I used oven mitts as well to take it out before it cooled. Although you don't need oven mitts, you can just leave it in the oven until your oven is completely cooled and then take it out. Your experiment will be fine. It might take a little longer, but I'm sure you're busy with other things anyway. And, uh, oh, my 100 milliliter graduated cylinder. Uh, as you can see, my, mine is already uh, in its final state for this lab, which is filled to 100 milliliters, covered with plastic to create a solution of car, uh, sodium carbonate that we'll use in next week's lab. And those are the materials you need for this lab.